<laughs> Clearly gold, but it's stuck in the rock. <laughs> Got a fork. Hello, everybody. Welcome to the channel if you are new to it. My name is Polly, your host. Today, we will be looking for gold using a metal detector. Now, there are so many metal detectors out there to choose from, but the key thing I look for is if it's at least sensitive enough to pick up a small shotgun pellet. Because if you can pick up something that small, you can trust you won't be missing any targets worth any value, and lead sounds and reads just like gold. Today, I will be using the Gold Bug 2 metal detector because I like to adjust my settings manually. I found a lot of gold nuggets with it before, and honestly, I just know this machine inside and out, so I know I'm very effective with it. Now you may recognize this area from my last video where I found the most amount of gold I ever found underwater. Look at that. That is really good. So I believe this area to be a prime place to try metal detecting. So we have our first target and I know it's worth digging because it's making a high pitched zip sound opposed to a low scary sound, which is typically just trash. Now before I dig up this target, as easy it is for me to dig it up right now, I want to explain ground balancing. This is where most people will miss targets such as gold nuggets, coins, jewelry, and alien spaceships because their machines aren't tuned properly. And this can be the difference between finding treasure or becoming discouraged and dropping the hobby altogether. Here you have your threshold. Once you are ground balanced, you want this as quiet as possible. This will allow you to hear even the faintest signals. Over here you have your ground reject or ground balancing. All ground balancing really is, is matching the frequency of your detector to the frequency of the ground so that if any metal goes in between them both, it will let you know by making a sound. Ground balancing is easy. The only thing you need to do is make sure it sounds going up. All you gotta do is make sure it sounds the same going up as it does going down, and you do this by pumping. Notice how the detector's making a loud noise when it goes down. Now if you play with the small knob here and go all the way to the other end, the sound is now opposite. What you wanna do is play with that main control, which is the small knob, you want to play with this until it sounds the same going both ways. And when you think it's close, you want to use the bigger knob to fine tune it till it's just perfect. And now you're properly ground balanced and you're ready to go. As for the other controls, I like to have iron discrimination normal and mineralization normal because I'm not in highly mineralized ground here. Sensitivity, usually just a five, but that's your preference. And volume always low because I wear headphones. I like to hear every target and I like to save my battery life. Now that we are properly ground balanced and we can hear our target clearly. Let's begin. So target is in here somewhere. So first thing I'm gonna do is just remove all the rocks. Get my lucky spoon, have a quick look. I don't see any gold, but you never know. Have a quick check. It's in her pan. So our target turned out to be a little piece of lead, either a fishing weight or a, just a lead ball bearing. One less piece of lead out of our rivers. I noticed all the bedrock that we found in the water here in the last video is the same as the bedrock outside of the water. And judging by these pockets of gravels and all this, I figure if we remove all this and detect any of these little cracks through here, our chances of finding gold like our last video are actually pretty good. So I've dug down a bit deeper to where now you see the rocks are just crammed in there. This is where you want to be to run the detector again because this is where your gold or anything else will actually be sitting, you know, where all the heavies are. I have a signal in here, so I want to show you. Notice how loud it is and how high of a pitch it is. That usually means it's lead or hopefully even gold, but we're going to have to dig this out and find out. It's difficult doing this with one hand. Oh. 
This is a square nail, most likely our target considering how loud it was. So I cleaned out this crevice the best as I could and I'm not finding anything except for micro gold that I'm hand panning. So other than that nail, there's nothing here and it's time to continue. So I just found another target and I tried uh, unplugging the headphones to see if you guys would be able to hear it but it's so faint you won't be able to hear it and which is why I always recommend wearing headphones because it will completely wipe out the sound of the river and you can hear smaller targets. So target is right in here. It's probably nothing but you know you never know. It's always best just to film every target. Really soft sand so there's probably nothing going to be in here. I don't see anything. Oh, there it is. <laughs> you may not be able to see it. I don't have my other camera so we can't really zoom in but there is, that is gold I'm pretty sure. Yeah, awesome. Our first piece of detected gold for the day really tiny but with that little piece you can be sure that there should be more gold around so I'm gonna stick here and kind of detect this little trough. So moving up along here we have another target. Now I usually re-ground balance whenever I move around but typically if it's the same looking bedrock you don't normally need to do it but keep in mind expect to ground balance a lot when you're using the gold bug too. But our target is right in there. We have hard packed rocks in here which usually suggests that there's um, it's been here for a long time and the chances for something that gets stuck in here are actually quite good. It's around here somewhere so it's either down below where I'm digging or it's further up where this rock looks like it's really stuck in there. So now I believe we've dug it up, whatever it is. You can clearly hear it. So now it's just a matter of Bringing the magic spoon and panning all this, this stuff. Now you quickly recheck. Yeah, it's still not in the pan, so you just gotta keep doing this until you have it. All right, time to pan it. So we did find a little bit of gold in our pan, but our target was a little piece of iron. That's okay, let's keep going. So I've dug a little deeper and now I have a target that sounds similar to the same thing we found earlier. So I'm just gonna film and see what could it be. So all these rocks are just packed in there, as you can see. You have all this, this is the stuff you wanna, uh, you wanna look for as I was saying before, but our target is up here. So we're just gonna scratch away and see what it could be. Okay, let's try this again. See if you guys can hear it this time. It's already ground balanced. I turn up the threshold just a little bit so you guys can hopefully hear it. No, I gotta put on the headphones. One second. I don't hear it anymore. Oh, it's out. Sounds a bit actually louder than it was before. The difference between this target and the one we found before is this one is much louder. So it's kind of exciting, but I gotta, I gotta go slow. Oh, 
<laughs> well, we have it, whatever it is, so let's go pan it out. So if it's lead or gold, it's going to be at the very bottom, but you still want to be slow and be very careful. Because if, if I drop anything in here, I won't be able to get it today. <laughs> it's probably just lead. <laughs> we have some gold! <laughs> Okay. <laughs> I did not think that would actually come through like that. See, when you're low like this, you think it's not going to be anything, but then it just surprises you. This is why we're here. Same kind of gold that we've been finding under the water over here. So now I'm in a better mood and now it's time to continue. <laughs> So it's been about an hour now since I last cleaned out that crevice. I found a couple pieces of lead shot, but I probably won't put them on the video because it's not very interesting. And since we are in a new area, you have to make sure you're ground balanced and you're all ready to go. Found the very next target in a sandy area. Super loud, so let's uh, dig it up and see what it is. <laughs> Look at that. Found a fork. Interesting. You guys know how old this fork is? Leave a comment. It looks old. Very interesting. Right away I found another target, also very loud. Somewhere in there, so let's uh, dig that one out. If it's gold, I'll be happy. Even though we already found gold and I'm already pretty dang stoked over that. It's not every day you come out detecting and you find a piece of gold. A lot of people think I go out and I find gold easily and that's not actually true. There's a ton of videos I make that I don't end up uploading because I just don't find anything. Let's test this. Weird. I give up. <laughs> I've detected for the last 10 minutes, cannot find it. Let's move on. Yeah. I think it's gonna be lead, but also I think we're all hoping it's gonna be gold. It's, uh, is that, oh, that's what it, that's what it is. A bullet. Yay. I don't mind finding bullets. I actually like these. Cool. Another target. Probably a bullet. Where is it? I keep losing them. Okay, this. Uh, either I lost the target or I found a new target. Oh. <laughs> Clearly gold, but it's stuck in the rock. Oh, there it is. What a weird looking shape. Ugh. Come on. Where's my fork? There you have it. Uh, I wish I had my close up camera. Oh, there it is. Look at that. <laughs> Neat. Looks like a boomerang. Huh, I'm get wet. That's cool. Let's carry on before our battery dies. Okay, so my battery is at 1%, so we got no choice but to go back home. Back at the cave now, battery is now charged. I hope I was able to at least teach you guys the basics to metal detecting gold. The key thing is really just mastering that ground balance and a lot of practice. 
Here's a closer look of what we pulled out today. Our first piece of gold was a loud target that actually ended up in our pan, which doesn't happen often, but it's always a real nice surprise. Our second boomerang piece looks pretty cool. It was pretty much just sitting on the surface and took next to no effort at all to find. Also, a fork. If you know where it's from, let me know. Is it from the Gold Rush Times? I have no idea. That's beyond me. Also, garbage. Welcome to detecting. Now to weigh the gold. Our first piece, I'm gonna guess, it feels kinda heavy. I'm gonna say two grams. 2.3 grams. Okay, it's always nice to be wrong. I'm gonna say 0.5. 0.64, so all together, 296, 2.96, so three grams. That's like, meh, 150 bucks. I've been getting a lot of requests lately to go back to that area where I found that cave hole looking thing, and I can't access that spot right now, but it's gonna happen. But in the meantime, if there's anything else you wanna see me do, please let me know in the comments below. Anyways, like I always say, if you wanna see any behind the scenes stuff, what's coming up in the near future or anything extra, feel free to follow me on my Facebook or Instagram account as I post so much more on there. Anyways, thank you so much for watching. Thank you so much for your support. And until next time, ah. I'm gonna go eat a taco. Where's my fork? <laughs>